everyone welcome to wicked tarantulas so today i'm just going to give you a complete tour and an overview of my growing collection so in here is christine this is my mexican red rum tarantula she is showing heavy signs of primo on her abdomen although i can't get a clear shot for you guys because of the water spots and then in here is my carabina bursa colors getting the little beautiful little red hairs on the butt and he said or she said no no lights so she's been making a, he or she has been making a pretty sweet tunnel. Then we have my matured male. This one is cac, this is, <laughs> I have two of these. I always get them mixed up. This is cactus. And cactus is just stretched out in the back of his enclosure, chilling. And then in here we have bendy, which is my striped knee tarantula juvenile. Do not know if it's male or female. Heavy signs of pre-molt right now. So... That one should be molting soon. Then we have our beautiful Daisy. This is my fully matured female curly hair tarantula. Then in here I do have a male wolf spider on the top. And underneath is a female wolf spider who is currently burrowed. So I will not be able to get you a shot of her. But he is absolutely funny. He's hilarious. He's pretty cool to watch. When he eats, it's crazy how he can take down these feeders being as small as he is. Then in here is curls. This is my other, this is my first curly hair tarantula I've ever purchased. Sorry I'm not using scientific names, it's just easier for me to roll out the common names. So he made a sperm web last night and he went crazy. I think he wore himself out because, yeah, he ain't doing nothing. And him, and him for some reason, they like to be active during the day, knowing they're nocturnal. She doesn't do nothing until nighttime and she typically doesn't do anything until it's dark. So we are going to put Daisy's blinder back up because she does not like the light. Bendy is in a perfect angle to where there's no light hitting her other than the camera at the moment. He hides in the back, but like I said, he's up through the day. This one has a blinder kind of placed right there just because of how the angle of the lighting to my windows is. Now Daisy, she's pretty cool. Like She stays back behind the plants, so I don't have to worry about her having a blinder. Again, he's very active. And I have six Ecuadorian crabs now. Hermit crabs, that is. I got my salt water and my fresh water. It took me several hours to put this tank together last night. I had it done one way. I didn't like it. I only had one hermit crab being social animals. Boom. Went and got five more Ecuadorian crabs. So I whittled all the wood last night. I got everything hot glued in place. And I have everything that they could possibly need. All the hides. I per Provided them with many of things to climb on. I made like a uh, rope so like they can, like a ladder. So when they climb, they have something to climb on. I'm not nowhere near done with that. I'm going to be adding a lot more of this rope. I'm going to be hot gluing it onto the sticks. That way they can climb without the chance of falling. Because even though I did whittle this wood yesterday, it's kind of too smooth for them to grip. So I did, what I did was I took a whole bunch of cocoa fiber. Because I had these backdrops that are made for hermit crabs. That actually helps with the humidity and the temperature and so forth. I took a piece of it and I pulled it apart and hot glued it onto there. So that way, currently right now, that's one way for them to grab and climb. I have a lot more I want to do. This is a 30-gallon tank. I'm at the point where I'm ready to go get a 60. But luckily, a co-worker of mine who's awesome, who likes to collect animals to care for them as well, she had an extra tank, so that helped me out greatly. Okay, so here goes... Goliath, my striped knee tarantula. She's absolutely beautiful. I love her markings. She has not molted, but we all know it takes forever when they're matured for the females to molt again. And here's Carl, Di not Carl Diago. I always do this. This is Rico. He's my other Asian forest scorpion, and he is a juvenile, and you're not going to be able to see him because he is hiding. He does not like the daylight. And here is my OBT. You see what he's done from the last video? I cannot see him. He's not even down in his little hole. He has made such a massive, massive tunnel system that, yeah, I will not be able to see him anymore unless I turn the tank around and I get lucky. But he did this because of the light as well. I had a blinder, but I had him on this shelf originally, but I moved them because I rearranged the way I have my tanks sitting. Straight horn baboon molted. Three days ago, stripes, which I was not sure if it was male or female, she molted, he molted, <laughs> ding, 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 he molted two days ago. 
He now has his sex organs. He has his tibial hooks. And he is matured. I have a matured striped knee tarantula finally. I have two matured females. And she just matured who a little over a week, maybe close to two weeks ago. She's hiding. And of course, you can barely see her right there. You can see her little rump and her legs. She's blue. It's a blue color form, striped knee tarantula. Brown color form, striped knee tarantula. And my male is blue, but he probably looks black on this video, which in the camera he does, but with my bare eyes, he looks blue. So we covered all of them. Oh, then we got my fully matured pink toe tarantula. This was my very first tarantula. She's going strong. She's doing good. I don't like the way her enclosure is set up. I mean, it's acceptable for her. That's what she likes. But I don't like it. It could be so much better, but she's so content. I don't want to disturb her. So, yeah, for you, Peter Webster, I never forget my sticks. I even have them in front of the enclosures now. So, over here is my Pac-Man frog. I'm not content with his enclosure. I will be redoing it. I joined a Pac-Man frog group so we could share ideas, learn from each other, blah, blah, blah. I just put clean water in there almost 48 hours ago. It's deep chloride water, so I got to do that again. I got to get it cleaned up. I cannot move this plant because dummy me, when Spidey was in here before Littlefoot died, I had hot glued that down so that it wouldn't move. And so it, when the feeders were in there, he could catch it because, you know. I thought it'd be easier. I kind of screwed myself over because I have to figure out how to get that out without cracking this tank because this is a new tank. I just bought this not even six months ago. Then in here is, goodness, I just blinked, Scorpio. Scorpio made a little hole. Scorpio's doing pretty good. I got to get some misting done in there because it's been raining so much and the temperature has been low for it being technically today's the first day of summer. Everything, like the humidity has been low, so I've had to monitor everybody's humidity extremely close. Then in here is Carl Diago, my Emperor Scorpion. Doing good. This guy matured. He's almost completely healed up. Gave him some water yesterday. I want that molt, but I need to get him off the front of this glass. Okay. So, as you see, this exoterra, it's one big door. I've had been go going through the top lately to get water and all that in there, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to do that because the clips up here aren't the best clips. They will break. So once he's healed up, he I'm going to actually attempt to force him to the back. And I'm going to see if I can get in there and get a little more sticks running through there for him. Because I'm hoping he doesn't do like Littlefoot did. When after he matured, maybe six months to a year later, he started becoming clumsy and falling and so forth and blah, blah, blah. I don't want that to happen to this one. So I'm going to observe and see what I, more I need to do. And then in here is Rosie, my rose hair tarantula. My girl that thinks she is an old world. Well, her behavior suggests that she's old world, but we all know she's not. But I don't think she knows. I don't want to say that she acts like an old world. She's just very defensive over her home. Anytime I miss this enclosure, she'll run right here. She'll grab this plant. She'll hang on. And she'll like try to bite the water as it's coming down. Doesn't make very much sense. So that's my, my collection so far. I haven't purchased any new tarantulas. I don't think I really have very much room. Especially adding a 30-gallon tank. I mean, I could... Move Hammy down, and I could put the frog up there. I could do it, but, you know, right now I think it's more important that I worry worry about the condition and the care that I can give them. Yeah, I like having all these animals, and I would love to care for more than what I have, but we need to think about their overall safety and their well-being and what they need, so I'm not going to be selfish, and I'm just going to take care of them. Now, I'm not telling anybody how to deal with their tarantulas. I'm not telling anybody what they should or should not do. I'm just simply sharing how I do things and how my tanks look just because it's a hobby that I really enjoy. And I've been doing it for so many years, so many years, but I've only shared it on video for the last couple of years. So this is what I have so far. 
I have that to finish as a project. I got a, the project for the Pac-Man frog. I think I'm going to be rehousing the Emperor Scorpion to a longer tank. Even though he seems to like that because he's still really small. He really is. He's really small. And then just seeing what else I can do. What else I can imply, implement, or add into these enclosures for these guys. I don't like Daisy's enclosure. It's not enough to it. Although she seems to be content with it. I had a plant over there in that back corner. But I took it out. Yes, you do see a little crack in the glass. But believe it or not, it's in between the, the, the glass. It's You can't fill it on the outside or the inside. But... I'm going to be purchasing two more of these tanks because these tanks have a lock in the back, a lock to the screen, and then you can lock these, and that's what I'm going to be putting my old worlds in, just because I want to make sure that I'm going to put them in something they can't get out. I mean, I do have these on the tanks, these little locks, and then I have them anchored, but for their safety, we're going to do what we got to do. All right, guys, one last thing. All of my super worms are almost morphed into beetles. That's pretty sweet. You hungry? You want some more food? I gotta give you some more fresh fruits and veggies. Fruits and veggies! They're all pretty cool. I like watching them morph. It's actually a pretty amazing process. Got the crickers in there. And that will conclude this tour of Wicked Tarantulas. Animals. See you soon. Bye.